a big clam bake. In my bowl, I have some melted butter. I'm using a stick of butter. We're gonna put that right in our bowl. To that, I'm gonna add some of my seasonings. I have chili flakes. I like a little bit of heat in mine. This is obviously an optional ingredient. If you like it even spicier than me, go crazy. Dealer's choice, that's how we roll here on Simon's Dinners. Also, some seafood seasoning. You know, it has celery salt, uh, smoked paprika, a little bit of cayenne, some cumin in there. It just worked really nice with the clams and is gonna help us flavor our broth quite a bit. So to this, I'm gonna add I have four cobs of corn. I cut them in half because the way that we serve this is I literally just dump the whole thing right on the table and it's just a little bit easier for people to manage when they're split. So these go in. I'm putting sweet potatoes in here. Some people put whole potatoes. You want it about the same size as your corn. So if you have huge potatoes, quarter them, if they're the size of the corn right off the rip, you could just put them in whole. So just kind of keep everything the same size so things are steaming and cooking at the same rate. And the last thing I'm gonna do is season this up with a little bit of kosher salt and cracked black pepper. You're leaving the skins on the potatoes? I leave the skins right on. We clean the skins first. I wash the outside of the potatoes, but I leave it all on there. There's a lot of vitamins, so I leave it all together and it holds it together a little bit as it's cooking. We give this a toss. It's just like with the saute pan, you gotta get that flip going. All right, so we get the chilies, the seasoning, everything coats everything real nice. So we have a bunch of garlic cloves. You don't have to peel these or anything, they're gonna get strained out eventually. I put 10 or 12 in there. I have two onions. You could half or quarter them. They go in the pot. Could I use yellow onions in there too? Pick an onion, any onion. You could add any onion that you want in here, Liv. No worries about any of that. We're gonna put in our stock. I'm using chicken stock here, about four cups. Obviously a seafood stock would work great. You could even do a beef stock if you want a slightly deeper flavor. And I'm going to put in two IPAs. You could do beer choice. I like the hoppiness of the IPAs in here, you know, but that's your choice. And then just a touch of salt and pepper in there. And we're in a good place. What are your thoughts if someone doesn't have fresh garlic? Could they do garlic powder in here? Or would that be weird? Just be careful. You know, the garlic powder tends to get a little intense on you. So just, I would say, be a little bit tentative with it. You have a little bit more control with the cloves and you're gonna get more of that fresh garlic flavor with the cloves. So this is our base. On top of that, I put my pot. put it on that grill, it's a little hot right now. And we're gonna take our corn, our potatoes, our butter, the seasoning, and I'm gonna dump it right in. See what's going on, Liv, are you tall enough? Um, on I'm toes? on my tiptoes. Here, I'll tilt it for you. <laughs> that all goes in. And we're gonna let this start to come to a simmer, and then everything's gonna start steaming in there, and it's gonna start cooking the corn and the potatoes. We wanna cook this about halfway through before we begin to add our clams and our sausage. Chorizo, as you can see, I just kind of gave it a nice char on the grill. And that's what I'm looking to do. We didn't cook it through because it's gonna cook through when it steams with those clams. So Lizzie, here's what we got going. I have sweet potatoes, corn, um, that I toss in a little bit of butter, chili flake, you know, just kind of letting that seafood seasoning. And then underneath I have some stock and IPA and onions and garlic and I'm gonna to top it with the clams and a little bit of grilled chorizo. Great. I didn't cook the chorizo through, I just charred it on the grill. I'm oh. gonna put the chorizo on here. Nice. Then these beautiful middle neck clams, we already washed them, soaked them. Scrubbed them. Scrubbed them. working hard. Did all that good stuff. In there. These are gonna go on top. And then we put the lid back on, and when they open, all the juice from the clams rolls down into that broth. Yeah, yeah. pop it on. Yep. And I which is gonna give our broth so much flavor. And then I'm gonna amp the broth up a little bit at the end too. Yes. That's gonna take about eight to 10 minutes or till those clams pop open. Great. Look out, I'm gonna put this on okay. here. Okay, lots of hot things. Out of the way. That's, ooh, and you can see that steaming. Now, Liv, look at this. That smells so good. Oh man, so Liz, in here I put chicken stock, I put some IPA, garlic, onions, onions, and then the clam broth. 
And then I'm gonna put in a couple shakes of hot sauce. That's got a little chipotle in it. A little smoky yeah. chipotle hot sauce. And I'm gonna do a little bit of butter just to finish this clam broth off. And now we have this beautiful clam broth to drink. All right, right. so that's ready to go. Now for the big moment. Liv, Whoa. get in there. So see the steam's coming off, the clams have opened, mm. the sausage is cooked, our corn, our potatoes, and then we just dump it right down the middle. Oh boy. That looks so good. Doesn't it? You could start putting the lemons on there. A little clam broth for Lizzie. A little cheers with this. Mm. Oh, wow. That's intense and good. Right? Cheers. It is intense and good and Cheers. buttery. Mm. Mm hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm going to take some, right I'm going to have a clam. Things do smell kind of buttery in here. Mm. The clam is great because they just popped open, so they're still super juicy. They took on all the flavors from the liquid underneath them and they dropped all their juice into our broth. They have got just a tinge of like back heat. Is there something a little spicy in there? Yeah, I did. I put a little spice in there. Your mm. palate is impeccable. I do want a little sweet potato action, right. though. Okay. I like the sweet potato in a clam bake. Do you? Because the saltiness of the clam, you know, kind of goes nicely with that sort of sweetness of the sweet potato. Yeah, it's salt and sweet. I think I like it better than a regular potato. Which is I love good. it. 